Hello and welcome. Let's talk about ulcer. So, so what does it mean by ulcer? Now, ulcer is a discontinuity of an epithelial surface which is characterized by progressive destruction of the surface epithelium and a base which may be necrotic, granulating, or malignant. Or it can be defined as disruption or break in the continuity of covering epithelium, skin, and mucous membrane due to molecular death. Now, so what are the parts of an ulcer? An ulcer has a margin, an edge, a floor, and a base. Classification of ulcers. There may be clinical classification, which includes spreading ulcer, healing ulcer, and non-healing ulcer. And based on duration, it can be acute, lesser than two weeks, or it can be chronic, which is uh, more than two weeks long. Now, the most important is the pathological classification, which is frequently asked. Now, this includes specific ulcer, non-specific ulcer, and malignant ulcer. Now, the respective ulcers, are, these are given here. You can see it. Now, classification of the ulcers according to age. Now, according to age, you know, it may be shelving age, undermined age, or rolled age, and raised everted age, or vertical punched out age. Selving age or sloping age is seen in uh, healing or non specific ulcer. Undermined age is seen in tuberculous ulcer. And rolled age is seen in basal cell carcinoma. Now, raised and inverted age, or also known as hipped age, is seen in uh, carcinomatous ulcer. And vertical punched out age is seen in uh, syphilitic ulcer or trophic ulcer. Now, uh, there are some factors which uh, cause a delay in the healing of ulcer, which may be local causes. Or specific causes. Local causes include a recurrent friction, trauma, presence of foreign body or sequestrum, absence of rest or immobilization, a poor blood supply, hypoxia, edema of the part, loss, uh, loss of sensation, periostitis or uh, stomalitis of the underlying bone, and fibrosis of the surrounding soft tissues. And uh, general causes include old age, malnutrition, hyperproteinemia, vitamin deficiency, anemia, tuberculosis, leprosy, diabetes, and others. You can see here, you can move from here. Now, there is a Wegener's grading of ulcer which may be grade 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. One is uh, pre ulcerative lesion, two is uh, superficial ulcer, and no, no, sorry, sorry. One is superficial ulcer, and two is the ulcer deep to the subcutaneous tissue, exposing soft tissues or bone. And grade 3 is abscess uh, formation underneath, and grade 4 is the gangrene of the part of the tissues, and grade 5 is the gangrene of the entire one area which may be one uh, one foot now, there are some painful ulcers these include a uh, pyogenic ulcer ischemic ulcer peptic ulcer and tubercle ulcer of the tongue as well as aphthous ulcer there are some terms in relation with ulcer uh, this includes necrosis necrosis is a spectrum of the morphological changes that follow certain death cell death in living tissue largely resulting from the progressive degradative action of enzymes of the on the lethally injured cell now, there is slug Slow is a necrotic tissue often at the ulcer center. It is a necrotic tissue which is not yet separated from living tissue. And there is, an, there is a term known as indolent ulcer. Indolent ulcer is a defect in the cornea that is unable to heal due to a layer of denatured tissue on the surface of the eye. The cornea is well supplied with knobs and therefore these ulcers are quite painful. Now what is the principle of management of ulcer? Now, this is the important thing. Uh, the principles of ulcer management determine the etiology accurate assessment of ulcer, correct the deficiencies, uh, transfuse blood if required, control the pain, investigate properly, control the infection and give rest to the part, adequate drainage and dislogging, avoid adder and distrings, reboot the exuberant uh, granulation tissue, topical antibiotics for infected ulcers, uh, once granulates, uh, defect is closed with secondary suturing, skin grafts or flaps. What are the causes or etiology of leg ulcers? Uh, leg ulcers may be due to venous disease uh, like uh, varicose veins or due to arterial diseases including atherosclerosis or diabetes and arteritis associated with autoimmune disease like uh, rheumatoid arthritis and lupus it may be trauma which may be like a uh, psychological uh, self-inflicted pain in leg or chronic infection which may be tuberculosis uh, syphilis or neoplastic uh, squamous or basal cell carcinoma now, the characteristics of pain in different types of ulcers. In tubercular ulcer, it is usually um, very, usually varies 
but in case of reticular ulcer of the tongue it is very painful syphilitic ulcer is usually painless but an anal sanker may be painful malignant ulcer is usually painless pyogenic ulcer is painful and ischemic uh, peptic or FS ulcers are also painful